Prostate cancer begins when cells in the prostate start to grow out of control. The prostate is a gland that's found only in males. It makes the fluid that is part of semen. So early prostate cancer usually doesn't cause any symptoms. It's only at the advanced or late stage when people start to experience symptoms or discomfort. So most prostate cancers are found as a result of routine health screening. PSA or prostate specific antigen and rectal examination are the two most widely used screening tests. In Singapore, these tests are available at most general practitioner clinics. Based on the result, those with a high PSA level or abnormalities found will be referred to a urologist. The urologist will perform a biopsy to confirm if there is prostate cancer. In this day and age, with the use of MRIs, we are able to better detect uh, locations in the prostate with potential cancer. Using this information, we can now do something called a targeted biopsy. This gives us more accuracy and also reduces the need for repeat biopsies and its potential complications. Furthermore, uh, once we find that there is a cancer, we will go on to do what is considered staging of the cancer. This will involve certain tests like CTs, MRIs, PET scans or even a bone scan to determine if this cancer is localized, locally advanced or metastatic. So the stage of your cancer is probably the main determinant of your treatment plan. But other things need to be considered, things like the aggressiveness of your cancer. Uh, we also want to consider your life expectancy, your other medical problems, but also patient preferences. For example, in localized cancers, which is stage 1 and 2, the first thing is to consider is this a low risk uh, cancer or is it a high risk aggressive cancer. In some patients, it may be a better option not to do anything with a low-risk cancer and manage it um, with active surveillance. For other patients with more aggressive cancers in stage 1 and 2, we would then recommend something uh, more definitive and this could be either uh, surgery, which is a prostatectomy where we remove the prostate or radiation to the prostate. So prostatectomy involves the removal of the prostate gland where the cancer is located and this is more appropriate for the early stages of prostate cancer when we are aiming for cure. Currently, the gold standard is what we call robotic prostatectomy and this involves using a robot to do minimally invasive surgery of the prostate. So a few small incisions are made in the abdomen and we use the robot to remove uh, the prostate gland and rejoin the bladder to the urinary tract. Because there is this joining of the urinary tract, a catheter needs to be placed for approximately 5 to 7 days before it can be removed. There are a few types of radiation suitable for early localized prostate cancer. Brachytherapy is a form of radiotherapy that uses radioactive iodine seeds to treat early localized prostate cancer. What we do is the patient is hospitalized and we locate the prostate using an ultrasound. Then, we insert in the seeds after appropriate panning is done. These radioactive seeds deliver a high dose to the prostate alone, leaving the surrounding normal organs at a low dose. It is a modality that is completed in a single setting and the patient can be discharged two or three days later. External beam radiation is given daily over six weeks using a machine called a linear accelerator. It is actually an x-ray and it is painless and as well as an outpatient procedure. The patient comes every day, is given the radiation and goes home without need for any hospitalization. Thus, it is suitable for patients who are elderly with comorbidities and who are unsuitable for operation. Locally advanced prostate cancer is prostate cancer that is spread beyond the prostate itself into the seminal vesicles and sometimes into the surrounding lymph nodes. The options usually include hormonal treatment followed by external beam radiation. So the role of hormonal therapy is to help to suppress a type of male hormones called androgens. Androgens stimulate prostate cancer cells to grow. By limiting the androgens to the prostate cancer cell, 
the prostate cancer often shrinks or slows down its growth. This allows the treatment to be more effective. So there are two ways to approach it. One is through a surgical procedure called an orchiectomy, and the other is to give regular injections. So orchidectomy is a procedure in which the surgeon removes the testicles of the patient under general anesthesia. So the patient does not feel what goes on during the procedure. Uh, the procedure involves a small incision and both the testes are removed. There is minimal risk to the patient and it doesn't require an overnight stay. Most patients are discharged on the same day. There are certain downsides related to orchidectomy and this relate to the psychological impact on the patient. In many ways, it's similar to a woman losing her breast uh, due to breast cancer. We can alleviate some of these problems uh, by the insertion of artificial testicles so that the patient feels as if they're complete again. For regular injections, they can be given anywhere from once a month to once every three months to even once a year. Uh, orchiectomy is often found to be the cheaper and faster treatment. So the goal of treatment uh, for advanced prostate cancer is to keep the cancer under control for as long as possible, as well as to improve a man's quality of life. Now, treatment options uh, for advanced prostate cancer may include hormone therapy alone. Sometimes it may also include hormone therapy together with chemotherapy or chemotherapy alone. Surgery and radiation therapy are also sometimes used to relieve symptoms like bleeding, urinary obstruction, and for pain management.